some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in Galveston, Texas at a Motel 6 where Harvey Freebird Will tries to do some cop watching on private property and ends up getting trespassed. Now, I do apologize for the poor quality of the video, considering that it was a live stream that he was doing. And you know how poor quality some of those live streams can be, especially when you're live streaming and you have bad quality internet to begin with on a cell phone or anything like that. Now, without further ado, let's get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? Uh -oh. Back to the drawing board. Started beating on the door, nobody answered. Hotel room door. Several flashlights beating on the hotel room door. Nobody entered. Four cops going back toward the office. What's up, YouTube? You're joining me late. This is a Motel 6 in Galveston. Four cops are just beating on a... They got called here. Screaming her coming from inside the hotel room. Followed the cops from the office to the room. They just beat on the door. I'm trying to not hang around the office because I don't want to get trespassed. Wait, wait a second, Frauditor. You knew that there was a possibility uh, that you would get trespassed off of this privately owned property and you still did this anyway? Yeah, you're not exactly too bright, are you? But the video should continue and uh, we shall see how much of a dumbass Harvey Freebird truly is. Two live streams in a row where I ended up on private property. They tell me to leave, I'm gonna have to leave. How's the wind doing on YouTube? I've got something for the wind. Give me some feedback on YouTube. See? Three police cars, there they are. I don't wanna get too close, you guys. Let's get a little bit going. There they are. Oh, you can tell I appreciate that 10 bucks from the last screen. I saw what room that they were beating on, so if they disappear, we'll go back to that room. But. Let's see what they do. Oh, they're going back in the office. Nope, some of them went back toward that room. Let's go back. Two of them went in the office and two of them did not go in the office. Whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down. Uh, you're using such big words. I don't want your uh, your head to explode due to the overuse of multi-syllable words. You know, keep it simple for your education level. You know, C-spot, C-spot run and everything like that. They're going to go back to that room that they were beating on. There they are. I just saw them walk by. I'm staying on this side because I don't want to be around the office. They're going back to the room that they were beating on the door. Oh, they got the key. That's what's going down. They got the fucking key, dude. They're about to make entry into this room. There they are, right there. They got the key. 
Here we go, yo. Smash that like button. They got the key this Bluffing? Okay. Police department. They got the key, they're going in. Stop it. He opened the door. The door is open. No, he shut it. <laughs> hey! 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 Please. Oh, the frauditor is getting ignored by the police officers. But wait, it's not over yet. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward to the best part of this video where he shows how little he knows about trespassing or even the Constitution or anything for that matter. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage, shall we? A little longer than a few minutes later. You know, if the ho- I don't know how, uh, Fourth Amendment on hotel rooms, the people in the office gave them the key and gave them permission. I don't think you have the same Fourth Amendment rights as a hotel room because- Guess what, Harvey? A Motel 6 is not a government organization, so you don't have the Fourth Amendment rights that you do on there. If the uh, property owner wants you gone for some reason, they can get the police to easily trespass you. They can give them the key and get rid of you. Are you that brain dead that you can't freaking figure that one out? Oh, wait, I am talking to a frauditor who thinks he knows everything. So I'm just going to leave it at that with this frauditor. I mean, I knew some frauditors were incompetent and stupid and a complete waste of space, but I didn't know it could be this bad. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. This could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?